If you are following my Instagram account, then you probably know that I'm into canvas hacking lately. So today I'm going to show you what uh, hardware it uh, requires if you want to buy uh, some of those things and follow me through my uh, learning process of the Canvas network and trying to uh, sniff some information out of the Canvas and inject some messages into Canvas network in your car. So let's get to the hardware that you will need. Over here I have Arduino. This is the mind control unit. Let's call it like uh, this. Uh, this is the device that you are programming. Over here is the MCP2515 and this takes care of the canvas communication. It takes care of uh, most of the important stuff so you don't have to. Program that you are going to write for your Arduino will just communicate with this device and this device will take care of the rest. Over here I have eight LEDs. Uh, those are called uh, WS2812. Each of those LEDs is controlled separately, so uh, you can control them each as a single pixel. You can uh, turn them on and off, adjust color and brightness of each of them, and you can have fun with the animations made with those LEDs. When playing with Arduino, you will need a bunch of prototype cables. Just to connect stuff together, you don't have to solder anything yet. Uh, if you want to make a prototype that's uh, long-lasting, you most likely will have to um, solder a few things together. But those prototype cables are just fine for the purpose of this uh, tutorial. If you are feeling fancy, you can go with uh, Raspberry Pi as your main unit. This runs on Linux and it's uh, slightly, uh, slightly price here because this is about 40 bucks it's still very cheap for a computer with those specs but uh, mm, uh, all those stuff costs like cost like two bucks each so this is the most expensive part if you are going to use Raspberry Pi I'm starting with uh, Arduino Uno but you can go with something like this and this has the same processor that you can uh, see over here uh, it's uh, only in a different uh, form factor so this is soldered and you can uh, pry this one and replace it with another one if you happen to damage it so you can go with something smaller if you want also, I'm going to use a lot of small LEDs. Uh, again, this, the, those are the WS2812, but on single chips. So you can solder them together in a shape that you want. For example, over here I have three LEDs soldered and I can bend them slightly just to make them fit perfectly in the place that I want them to fit. You will also need USB cable to uh, program your Arduino and to power it because at the beginning we are going to power the uh, installation through the USB port and later on it will use a separate 5 volt adapter. I also have some old scrap cables in different colors that I twisted together just to make the color coding more uh, pleasant to eye and easier to uh, easier to connect later on. You don't have to uh, write on the wires uh, to um, uh, to inform you what this is connected to. You can just color code it like this. You can find a list of all of those in the description below this video. Also AliExpress links if you want to buy those. Okay, I think that's it. If I forgot about something that I will um, point it out in next videos from this series, so let's call it Canvas Hacking. And uh, see you soon. Also check my uh, Instagram account if you want to be uh, up to date, because not everything goes on YouTube and even if it does, uh, it's uh, slightly delayed compared to the Instagram account. Okay, thank you for watching and see you soon.